Welcome to our first crossover bonus episode. We've got the entire gang, both the Ram Pack and the Rap Scallions tonight. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Um, so basically how this is going to work is this is taking place completely outside of both campaigns. So both groups have been snatched up into a bit of a demi plane somewhere else and they have to basically escape get back to where you guys left off this is also a bit inspired by dead by daylight i know a bunch of us have been playing quite a bit of that lately so uh, i'm also throwing in a few fight club <laughs> tricks in here <laughs> so... <laughs> concern, concern. Oh no! So what have you done? Listen, I've had a lot of time on my hands. I am concerned. So, um, when you guys each individually wake up, uh, last thing you knew, you were where you last were, either in the pit in the scar or under the ocean. You were somewhere, and then in an instant, you were here. You find yourself standing alone in the dark, even with your special racial or magical abilities to see in the dark, it's still, you're not able to make a lot out. You can hear like the sounds of like crickets chirping softly. And then when you look up into the sky, you see it is filled with like nebulas and stars and everything. It doesn't look like the normal sky you're used to at night. This looks different. And a couple of you get the sense that you're standing nearby someone. Like you can kind of like vaguely make out an outline of a person. So, uh, as you do, I will reveal on the map that we're using, uh, one at a time. So first I'll start with Agaris and Manny. Uh oh. <laughs> so uh, as, you're... Bah, bah. <laughs> as the two of you adjust your eyes, uh, Manny, you look up to see a robed masked figure standing just about like five feet away from you and Garrus looking in the same direct like looking opposite you see the short halfling with a staff <laughs> uh, <Sure>. <laughs> and the two of you are just kind of like yeah go ahead uh, Agaris will remain uh, silent for right now a very okay. shy person not good with uh, new people so he's just going to, this masked figure is just going to stare most ominously down at Manny. Manny's going to be back too, uh, not noticing a Garrus right away. Oh. As he touches down. What the fuck? Where am I? Looking around. I turn. Ah. Uh, hi there. Uh. Um. <laughs> Why you, are you just staring at me? Why are you wearing a mask? Are you gonna harm are me? Are you my Tinder date? <laughs> <laughs> What's your sign? Uh, uh um, no, I'm, I'm not going to harm you. Just <laughs> oh, that's good. You. You. I won't harm you either. I don't know where we are. Did you bring us here, or...? I am generally confused right now, so no. <laughs> I did not bring us here. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, I don't know who you are either. Well, well uh, uh, since guess I'll we're just, here, uh... I'm Manny. Manny Pavel, Hi. nice to meet ya. It, it's nice to meet you. Hi. I'm called Agaris. Uh, okay. Agaris will offer a gloved hand out to the uh, short man. <laughs> so, as you two are awkwardly making introductions, let's go to the next duo, which is 
Eris, and Nimble Leaf. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Another quiet character. <laughs> Fuck. So, Nimble Leaf, as your eyes begin to adjust to the darkness, you see a fully armed, tall metal figure before you uh, with glowing blue eyes underneath the helmet. And Garrus, as you're looking around and eyes adjusting, you see you're out. Oh, Nimble Leaf, you have to remind me. You're a smallish fellow, fella, or yeah. lady fella. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, um, as one of those. Basically, I'm a, <laughs> uh, a, a halfling sized tabaxi, is what I yeah. look like. Oh, I didn't know you were a tabaxi. Neat. Half tabaxi, half halfling. Does that make you a quarterling? I guess. Okay. Half back to quarterling? <laughs> Garrison Nimble Leaf, go ahead. <laughs> Holy Fultus, what is going on here? Got it. Um, oh. Uh, hello, Young Glass. How are you doing? The small cat woman just kind of looks up, waves quietly, and the raven that's sitting on her shoulder just kind of goes, What do you want? <laughs> At- <laughs> <laughs> excuse, excuse me, Crow. I'm talking to this young tabaxi lady here. <laughs> so, what is your name? That's Nimble Leaf. And she oh. just kind of waves hello. Oh, are you mute? No, I just don't like talking. Oh, okay, fair enough. My name is Garrus Falcon. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, uh, do you know anything about this? No, I was hoping you did. Uh, oh no. Uh there this must be a mistake. Um I'm in the wrong show. I was in a a, a dungeon of some sorts. Uh Where's I mean, my girlfriend? Wait a second. <laughs> Naomi? He he goes and runs off and looks right for Naomi. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. That's the last we see of Garrus for this show. <laughs> well, he was an asshole. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Do you need any help? He stops and comes back. <laughs> um. Well, I we don't know where we are, so m- maybe. Okay. I grab. I I grab both of them and I just uh, run and look for people. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, so which way are you heading north? You can do you, you, which way are you heading yes. north, south? Yes. To 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 which? Yes, all. Okay. Yes, I'm, and all, I'm, all, I'm, all directions. I'll just choose a direction then. Okay. <laughs> Sends me straight into a death trap. Yep. Yep. No, uh, we're going north. We're going north. What? Why are we going north? North, where there's nothing. <laughs> exactly. That's why I said I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually can see it. Uh, let's not go north. Uh, let's go the opposite way. So south. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are heading south. So the next group. Oh god, is it <laughs> is it Tex, Bite, and Tagoro? No, no, it's, it's Tagoro and Bite. It's Tagoro and Bite. Tex just on his own. Oh just my epic god. Oh my god. The barbarians, <laughs> of course, the barbarians yes. are together. <laughs> so... I will simply listen for the sounds of loud yelling. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tagoro, one moment you were in the blood plains, and now you're in the dark, and as your eyes adjust, you see a small figure. Perhaps it's Manny? <laughs> there are three small people in right there. <laughs> and Bite, you look around very confused because last you knew you were underwater. And you make out a large fella next to you. He looks like Tex. <laughs> he <laughs> looks absolutely nothing alike. <laughs> Racist. Hex is a bird. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a bird. <laughs> so you two can make your introductions. Did we do it? 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he just looks around, looks up at Tagoro, and just goes, What the fuck? <laughs> I think I knew I was going to bed, and now I woke up next to you, a different woman. Are you pregnant? She's a lot oh, smaller God. than Feyora. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> she just. She just blinks. It looks down at her tummy, and looks looks back up at you. Just... No. It's your decision, but I'm not going to be a part of this. <laughs> oh, God. Aren't you take a seat? Right. <laughs> Where's the fish? <laughs> Is that code for drugs? Did you kidnap me? Are you a drug mule? What drug? Oh, let me tell you. It is the best thing in the world. Can eat. Oh my Christ. <laughs> yeah, you can totally eat. I got some once from I described this dude. <laughs> he describes Git. <laughs> oh, not him. Oh, not okay, him. yeah. He's... Ask him for the. Uh, uh, he called it booger sugar. Booger. Bo get, get booger sugar. Booger? Yeah, booger sugar. Yucky. What you? You can't just ask somebody what they are by Jesus. <laughs> yeah, racist. Why are you green? <laughs> Why? And bite. Togoro. Oh. Is to Togoro. Where? I don't know. Do you think? Oh my god, and I turn to show my, like, back to her a little bit. Do I have scars? Did they take my kidneys? Uh... You don't see any scars except for the ones he already has that are really old. Well, she wouldn't know. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm going to die. <laughs> 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 Her eyes get really wide, and she's like, "What kidney? Bite? No, think bite have kidney? You do. Where? Oh, okay. can <laughs> eat. God. I make an anatomy doll out of mud, and I go to this <laughs> where kidneys are. Oh my god. Uh... We're oh, having performance. <laughs> okay, so while that's happening, bite bite starts making more dolls out of. Mud. She doesn't know why, but she is. And I she am trying to explain how <laughs> you drink water and then it magically, there's magic in your tummy that makes it pee pee. <laughs> oh my so god. If the others were to look over, they would just see Tagaro and Bite building mud dolls already. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and explaining that even though they look like beans, they're human or dwarf or orc beans, not kidney beans. Can not to be confused beans. with kidney beans, because kidney beans are a real thing you can eat, but they look like kidney beans. That's beans. You know what? I don't know which one came first. Bless Manny. He's smart. <laughs> Let's go find Manny. <laughs> Let's go find Manny. <laughs> and ask. All right. <laughs> so as that's going on, I'm going to pop over to the last person on their own. Last, but certainly not least. Yeah. What is that thing next to me? <laughs> so Tex. Wait, what? <laughs> so Tex, um, as your eyes adjust, you're basically seeing the same as everybody else. However, you're alone and you see this large black obsidian looking shrine with like this demonic face on it. Seems on brand. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna look around. Do I not see anybody? You don't. You can't see anybody <laughs> at the moment. I'm having the weirdest fucking dream right now. Uh, hello, anybody? <laughs> Bite. Uh, Agaris. Can fucking anyone. 
Tweedledee and Tweedledum, are you around? <laughs> Apparently Texas lost his accent too. He's gained a new one. I'll be honest, I've forgotten. Give me He's a minute, a I'll slip back man. in. I'll, just, I'll get back into it. I'm just giving you I've shit. I've gone through so many fucking accents in the past month. <laughs> like, hey, hold on, hold on, can I just... So, we all disappeared, leaving the rest of our parties behind. So, like, in the Rapscallions, it's, like, the brothers and Git That's and it. Len. But then... Oh, God. Then in, in, the, <laughs> in the ramp pack, it's just like... Roisin, Roselle... Oh yeah, Roselle, <laughs> Naomi. I'm just picturing Ro Roisin oh, and Farron just sitting there awkwardly like, uh... Um, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where they went. That doesn't usually happen. Is this normal? No. Uh, are we gonna <laughs> disappear? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. R Roisin's just like, God dang it, why wasn't I invited? <laughs> you never get invited to anything. <laughs> so, DM, if yeah. I look up, what is above me? So, glad you asked. So, as you look up, you see this strangely lit night sky. And as your eyes adjust to the strange looking stars and sky overhead, you see a face start to come into view. In fact, all of you begin oh. to see uh, a figure, a very large figure almost fill up the sky. Well, that's concerning. Bite looks up with a mouthful of mud and just starts like smacking Tagoro's arm and pointing up. Just hey, mm, hey, mm, hey, hey, mm, mm. <laughs> So as you guys do, you find a, uh, and I'll post the picture here in a second, but you see what appears to be a man with horns and long white hair. And he's got these like really strange, uh, white glowing markings under his eyes and on his chest and his eyes also have like this strange ethereal uh, glimmer to them and he's holding a wine glass and he, he looks down at you guys all amused and everything and after a moment he, he lets out a chuckle Ah, I see everyone's waking up. How wonderful. Welcome. Welcome. I am so excited for this. How is everyone doing? Mm. Uh, uh, a little bit worse now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Your breasts are exposed. <laughs> I'm nude. <laughs> Thank you, Tin oh. Man. <laughs> hey. Hey, shit, man. No need to go that long. <laughs> God damn it. I, I was just going to apologize, but okay. <laughs> Don't have to bring up an eight-year <laughs> handicap. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, who the fuck is this guy? Or girl? <laughs> Why is he a <laughs> <laughs> Did we have sex? I have a slight <laughs> smile on my face. Smile. Uh -huh. No. Smile. No. <laughs> Does he no. look curious? Like he thought about it for a second. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, that's all I needed. But... Hey, um, not to like be rude or nothing, but where the fuck are we? You are in just a small part of what's known as the void. Hey, follow up question: Why? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm with him. Why? That's terrible. Because I was bored and I wanted to have some fun, and you all just seemed to be doing the most curious and interesting things that I thought each of you would be perfect for this. Uh, Nimbleleaf, who is he talking to? I'm not talking to him. I don't, I don't know either. I'm gonna be honest. Well, we were kind of, I don't know, a little fucking busy. Uh, doing other shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be able to be returned to that in no time. And you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be like you never even left if you're able to escape. 
Wait, wait, escape? What do you mean? Now that's a caveat I didn't uh, anticipate. Um, wait, and who are you talking to? Oh, I'm talking to all of you. Oh, let's see. Um, there's like he points to different parts <laughs> of the the re the uh, terrain that you guys can't see. Like you see him pointing to the north, to the south, a little bit to the to the east and west and everything, but. Basically, I wanted to have a bit of fun, and I had, you know, a couple of dark spawn that I'm trying to get rid of. So I figured, why not make a game out of it and pick some of the more interesting people hanging out down there in that fun little world? What? Hey. Okay. <laughs> Just a Goris. What? Hey, 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 Tagoro. Tagoro. What's up? You think we throw mud, it hit him? No. Oh. No, mud should not touch him. Mm. <laughs> he looks down and gives Tagoro a wink. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, Tagoro's not this way, but my god, have you guys looked at him? <laughs> my god. Oh, yeah, no, he's very attractive. But he still kidnapped us. <laughs> I'm, I didn't better. kidnap, I borrowed. I like to make it with a much needed vacation. See, I like this guy. Who? That yeah, guy. who? <laughs> Which <laughs> guy? What? The green who? fellow. <laughs> green <laughs> fellow? Hello. There's another guy Wait, here. Who is he green talking fellow. about? Does uh, he mean, does he mean me, Mr. Manny? No. I'm not green. He's pointing, he's pointing south. Alright, I have an idea. Kel. Ah. <laughs> my precious little birdie. Our savior! <laughs> Kel's gonna save it all. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Agaris, uh, listen here. Um, While I do this, I can't see or hear. Oh, God. So. Oh, yay. Just, you know, watch my back, all right? I gotta look through my bird's eyes and take a scope around, if that's cool. Uh, okay. It's already done. Yeah, I'm already, it's already happening. All right, go. <laughs> and I'm gonna kind of circle around where he was pointing to see if I could see anybody in that area. God damn it. <laughs> Why can't you just cast message? Or something? I don't know how far it is, and I can see through Quell pretty far. So as you're sending Kel out, the ethereal looking fellow in the sky doesn't even seem bothered by it. And he continues. So basically there are, if you want to escape, you have to first channel a couple of shrines. Uh, they're dark spawn shrines. You also probably want to be on the lookout for the couple of dark spawn minions that are roaming around as well. Why do you have um, dark spawn minions? I was told to dispose of them, but it's just kind of boring to just like, you know, snap them out of existence. It's better to like have a bit of fun with them. They're not missed right now and they're already like in my custody, so to speak. But I just why? wanted to make it interesting. Why? Because I was bored and it seemed fun and you guys seemed interesting and I wanted to test out your own like heroic metal and whatnot. There are quite a few interested deities who have got an eye out for a few of you. But have have you just tried gardening? It's a lot more entertaining, I think. <laughs> I'll leave that to the elemental sisters. That's not my jam. At, at the mention of other deities, uh, Bite's eyes just like get wide and she just goes, They all attractive? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Compared to me, though, I mean, they're all just twos and threes. What is she talking about, Karis? I have no idea. Do you know Foltis? <laughs> oh, that old guy? Um... <laughs> old guy? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that guy. Listen, he doesn't hang out in the same circle of pantheons uh, of, of deities that I do. He's kind of like hoity-toity and lame. A little bit of a drag. I throw a javelin at him. <laughs> just launch it up into the sky and it just like disappears. I like I like to imagine that he just like completely forgets he's currently carrying Nimble Leaf and just fucking <laughs> drops, pulls javelin and throw, and Nimble Leaf is just kinda oh! I thought he'd just say he pulls out the javelin, looks, looks at Nimble Leaf, hold this, and then throws her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, Wait a minute. Throws nimble leaf. Just yeah. Oops. Oops. That's not my javelin. Oh, shoot. Oops. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> my zealousness has blinded me. So yeah. Um. Again, there should be what one, two, three, four. There's see, there's like seven of you, and there's only five shrines you have to worry about, and only. One, two, two dark spawn you need to be aware of. But Bite kind of narrows her eyes and she looks at her like herself and then Tagoro and she goes, Bite no count good, but not seven. Listen, you're, you know what? It's fine. The rest of your friends are scattered throughout the terrain and you can work with the person you're with or try to find the others and regroup, but just keep in mind there are some pretty nasty dark spawn running around, so yeah. Why? Any, why I, we've been through this. But, but uh, okay. Don't worry, if we'll be fine. Uh, if you say so. We fight, then go home. Yes? Yes. Or you die and you get to hang out here. Okay. I don't like that option. I'm going to be honest. Agaris kind of glances around and then just kind of mutters, like, this place kind of sucks. I'm like, I don't think I want to die. <laughs> I can think of better afterlives. I mean, this is the void, man. It doesn't get any better than the void, it's not the veil. That place sucks. Yeah, but we could also just be alive. Yeah. After you finish here. Okay. Okay. You know what? Good luck. And uh, somewhere, somewhere you hear like the chiming of a gong that rings three times. And he goes, well, the dark spawn oh. have started off. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead by Daylight theme song starts playing. Mm. So, good luck to you. Oh, and for those of you who think that it's just a good idea to just like run around, I would watch your step. Hmm. What? Hey, have fun! And with that, he like waves his hand and disappears into the night sky. And yeah. We'll be right back with the rest of the episode after a quick break. Hey there, are you into bad movies? Well, come check out Dr. Bad Film, we're a weekly bad movie podcast. Every episode, we take a look at some of the worst crimes against cinema, taking a deep dive on how these abominations were birthed into the world, how they were received, and how we could fix them. Dr. Bad Film is an easygoing podcast. We have some drinks and have some laughs. This sounds up your alley. We're on all your podcatchers, Facebook, and even have a growing Discord community where we talk about bad movies, memes, and video games. So if this sounds like a bit of you, come check us out. Dr. Bad Film. Dr. Bad Film. Greetings, adventurers. It's your community innkeeper, Wander, You to talk about our sponsors. First off is our longtime friends over at Awesome Dice. They've got you covered for all your dice and dice accessory needs, from metal and gemstone to their specialty dice. You can easily find the right set to give you the advantage on your next game session. 
make sure to visit AwesomeDice.com to use the special discount code ADVANTAGE10 to get 10% off your next purchase. Add some more dice to your collection with Awesome Dice today and gain the advantage in all your roles. Next up are our other long-term friends from Elderwood Academy. They have all you need to add to your D&D gaming experience. They create these beautiful hex chests, dice boxes, dice trays, and towers, and many more unique products in their store, including their catapults. You can find all their epic accessories and more at elderwoodacademy.com. Go check them out and look at all their great products. Get your dice catapult today and let them know we sent you. Lastly, we want to thank our awesome patrons for their support of the show. Thank you, Not That Chris Brown. I'm Fantastic, Kyle and P.T. Brown. Your support helps us make the show and brings more shenanigans and fun to you. If you want to get in on the extra advantage, check out our three tiers on Patreon for all the exclusive perks to the show, including early episode releases and our bonus campaign, The Rep Scallions, starring me, featuring a new group of adventurers still starring me. And don't forget to check us out all over social media like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Looking us up at Party Advantage. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all our latest episodes and announcements. Lastly, don't forget to check out our website, PartyAdvantagePod.com. You'll find all our seasons and bonus episodes and check out all our content there as well. And with that all wrapped up, let's get back to the show. Manny, you sent Kel out to fly, and he does like a sweep of the area, and you're able to see Tex, you're able to see a, a bird guy standing next to a large black shrine, and then to the west of you, you find Garrus standing next to a tabaxu, the south, you find Tagoro and a small Nikogen with him. Uh, Anna has gotten a little bit brighter, so I will reveal the rest of the map yeah. to you guys. We are Once she shrines, those will become your two possible means of escape. Dark spawn you spawn don't now. see any dark spawn yet. Okay. Those guys, I'm going to random. Shrines. Yeah. What was that? Do I see any of these shrines? Yeah. I do see the shrines. Yeah. Okay. The shrines um, are about, like, everybody from where your different vantage is point Because each of you are on, like, these little plateaus, except for Bite and Tagoro. But these, uh, you're on these little plateaus. And then around the air, the terrain you see are these, like, 25-foot-tall obelisk-looking shrines with the demonic faces on them. Oh, good. Okay. Um... After that, Manny will dismiss Kel. Okay. Come back. And uh, so I saw first a bird-looking male figure with a hat. Really nice hat, actually. Very, very classy. Thank you! And um, <laughs> I also saw a couple of my friends, which they're very strong and can help us a lot if we can get to them. Wait, a bird man? I know that one. That's one of my friends. Oh, okay. Um, also with my friends, Garrus and Tagoro, were a young Nikogen, probably about my height, and another person my height, uh, also a Nikogen. Oh, that Not sounds a... like... The tabaxi. Sound like... Manny doesn't know what a tabaxi ah, is. Fair. Yeah. But what? Wait, those sound like my friends, too. Oh, all right, sweet. So we have some allies here. Um, I also saw a bunch of shrines, and I heard the guy talking about shrines. So there's one kind of north from us if you want to start trekking that way, or we can start trekking south and get with our friends. Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, Agars is going to uh, hold out his uh, offer his uh, gloved hand again. Here, let's shake on it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Shake. Uh, subtle cast. Uh, subtle cast harm. No. Uh, subtle cast. Uh, death ward. Oh, clever. And, uh, 
and they're just going to go on. All right, so which way are you guys going? Are you heading to the shrine to the north, or are you guys going to try to group up with someone? Hello? I think <laughs> Manny's tiny, so he's always out for getting more help. I figured... I figured Tex would like to be in, in alone. Nah, Garth is gonna... going to try and make it for, uh... for Tex first. Okay. Okay, Manny will follow. Uh, how many feet of movement do you guys have? 30. Oh, a big old 25. Well, we'll go with 30. Uh, we'll just take a, a Garrus's movement. Garrus can carry. Yeah, Garrus just, <laughs> yeah. Garrus just picks Manny up for the last Garrus. five feet. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Alrighty. Wait, no, we're... we're going to text. Oh, wait, okay, yeah. Yeah, you have to go down the ramp first. Uh... Yeah. You're right, you're right. This is a nice map, Cassie. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. I did not make it. I found it. Oh, well, there you job go. not making it. <laughs> right? Uh, thank you, Google. Uh, Nimble Leaf and Garrus, what about you two? Uh, are you going to start with... Are you going to go to a shrine or try to meet up with one of your groups of friends? Uh, so, uh... Nimble Leaf. Yes. Uh, not to be blunt, but, uh, what are you particularly uh, efficient in? Um, so as Garrus takes a second to look over Nimble Leaf a little bit more, um, he notices all of the vines and leaves and twigs that just kind of seem to be everywhere, uh, on the, on, on the woman, and it gives him the idea... Sorry, you have a leaf on your shoulder here. Let me brush that off for you. <laughs> it, it doesn't go anywhere. Ah. It, it's just oh, there. Oh, you're I druid. Thought, yeah. I thought you are going to say it brushes off and then climbs back up. <laughs> it brushes off you know? and Nimble Leaf says ow. <laughs> oh, I apologize. You know? All right, so which so, way are y'all going? So you can communicate with nature, right? Uh, I, I like to think so, yes. Uh, do you think you could get a read on uh, where our friends might be? Or maybe the shrine so we can get the hell out of here? Uh, maybe. Give me one second. And okay. uh, she starts to kind of, you know, think in her mind about what the best way to get about doing that would be before she goes, Ah, yes, I got it. And she claps her hands. And when she opens them back up, uh, eight crows just kind of appear out of nowhere oh oh uh and then she just you hear her start to talk but it sounds like a crow and um all of the crows just kind of nod and she's going to command them to go and circle over uh anyone who looks similar to us oh, okay so yeah, so the same thing with Kel. Uh, your crows do a sweep, and they see the same, the, the pillars and the other groups of folk around scattered sure. about. And I've, I've commanded them to just circle overhead um, the other three groups, <laughs> basically like acting crows. like beacons. It's like the crows. Yep. <laughs> it's my daylight. It's the crows. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Only they're working for the survivors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. He's so... like, "What the <laughs> fuck is happening right now?" Okay, this place is seriously weird, dude. <laughs> it really is. Ah, <sighs> God. Those, those should be so our funny. friends, I think. Okay. Hi, brothers. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nimble Leaf, do you mind if I pick you up again? Uh, I think it should be fine. Oh well, I have a good should... way of transportation. Oh God. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Do you trust me? Oh, Aladdin. <laughs> um... Garrus has a thing for the cat ladies. <laughs> Do you trust me? I am taken. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> she just, she's just kind of scratching her head. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Okay. Alright, hold on tight. She kind of clambers up onto the armor and grabs around his neck. 
You're kind of joking. Are you <laughs> Can you let go? Do yeah, you? she'll she'll let go and then instead grab onto like the collar of his um his chest plate. Ah, uh, much better. All right, baga, and uh, he grows uh, giant like wings. I forgot he has that clock. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, where to? <laughs> it's um, activation word. <laughs> Hold on, can I just imagine Tex hearing him do that? <laughs> Tex just sneezes somewhere. <laughs> Are you... just... oh I should be offended about something. <laughs> this is cultural <laughs> appropriation, I think. <laughs> huh? Any like? Oh, there's the Tex like... please. <laughs> Could have sworn someone just appropriated my culture. <laughs> So which I'm, way are y'all flying? I'm upset, but I don't uh, know about what. <laughs> Sounds normal. Where, where to, Nimbleleaf? Uh, straight down. Toward Fight and Tagoro. How many feet of movement do you have? Thirty. Sixty. Sixty. Uh, yo. All right. Sixty. Yeah, Nimbleleaf will just kind of point in the direction of the birds circling Bite and Tagoro. All right, Tagoro and Bite. What are you guys doing? Are you gonna? You, I don't think either of you have any fancy mode nope. of transportation. So, what's your I'm guys' fast. game plan? Uh, but on all fours. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, at the uh, at the mention of fighting, Bite has already drawn her great sword. So this two and a half foot Nekogen is now standing in front of Tagoro, holding a five foot great sword. Bite just looks up at Tagora, just, we fight? Um... Oh, wrong words. Maybe? I mean, he said there's Hell Spawn, Demon yeah. Spawn, Dark Spawn, I, they don't sound friendly. Yeah! But, I was also told I'd never judge a book by its cover. Uh, uh, Bite's not read! Me neither. You put the two illiterate people next to each other, Cassie? <laughs> I think my favorite part about all of the pairings is that there was one tall person and one short person. <laughs> I know, that's funny how that worked out. Oh my and then God. Tex. And then Tex. <laughs> well, I got I got an obelisk, so fuck you. Yeah, one tall thing, one short thing. Well, what should we do? Uh... Find, find fight or find friend. Ooh, what if I throw you up in the air and see, and you can see what you can see? Jesus yeah. Okay, oh I throw God. Up. Adam, make <laughs> a strength check. Use the power pole. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Use the yeet stick. Heck yeah! Like she that. jumps on the yeet stick and you activate it and throw her up. <laughs> Yo. Yo! Yeah, I go, hey, hold on to this real quick. Uh, okay. Really tight. Okay! And I extend She's it all the way down. up. Alright. How high does it go? I don't remember. I think it's infinite. Oh, God! God. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell her, when you want to get down, just slide it down uh, Montero style. Oh, no. What's Montero? I don't know, but it's a sexy song. Oh, Bite can be sexy. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, no, Bite, don't. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> So, Adam, how tall are you extending your pole? Not ridiculously high, just... Are you I'm going, like, good. 20, 50? Give me, like, a... a I'm gonna level. go 35 feet. 35 feet. Okay, so... God. I just realized as as Nimble Leaf and Garrus are headed towards them and looking at the birds, they just see this it's like really tiny, tiny thick cat girl <laughs> just rise up on a per a pole amongst the I mean, birds. Technically, I could just, just walk like... around like this as long as you have a good trip. <laughs> God, I mean, my strength is nineteen, so, so yeah, uh, you're. Trip. As you extend up into the air on this stick, like a looking cat or whatever, <laughs> uh, you spot Nimble Leaf on the back of a tin metal man with wings. What the hell? 
Oh, this is not gonna be a thing. And Garrus, you see a Nico Jin on a pole. <gasps> Naomi? <Her. laughs> I know her. She's a friend. You know Naomi? <laughs> no. That's oh. Bite. Bite, oh. like, wiggles excitedly in the pole down at Tagoro, just like wiggles. And she, like, waves to Nimble Leaf, just, hi! 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 <laughs> Nimble Leaf from her perch on uh, Garrus's back just hello. <laughs> uh, Tex, from your <laughs> point of view, where you're at, you're able to catch sight of to the south this <laughs> green fellow holding a tall pole, on which perched is a tiny Nico Jin with a large <laughs> sword. <laughs> hello, that girl. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Huh? I'm just gonna <laughs> wave my arms like <laughs> real obviously, just like hey, hey, over here. <laughs> uh, bite. Go ahead and make a perception check. Do you notice Tex over oh, on his little? I have proficiency in perception. Cool. Oh. That's a sixteen. Yeah, you see uh, Tex over there to the west waving his, his arms. Hey! 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 And Who's the green guy? Toguro! Cool! Do I hear that? <laughs> uh, not quite, not yet. By as you see Tex waving his arms, you see something emerge out of the bushes nearby behind him. And uh -oh. you see... No, I did that. <laughs> you see... This. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tex just, like, sees Bite go from waving to frantically pointing. Tex! Tex! Tex, fight, 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 fight! <laughs> uh, Tagoro, you're Turn hearing around. this. Yeah, you hear the Tagoro, you look up and you're hearing this as well. Uh, Tex, as you turn around, you see this nearly like eight foot tall monstrosity holding a torch and an axe. And all you see are like these flaming yellow eyes underneath this mask. And he Do you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Technically, if she needs to get over there, I can just fling her. It's true. It's it is true. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Tex, uh, what what's ever what what uh, and Bite and Tagoro, what are you guys gonna do? Well, I really don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna wait for her to tell That's me. True. She's just having a fit right now, <laughs> hysterical. I start like poking the pole up and down, like yeah, friends, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're fight! 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 <laughs> Tex, what are what are you doing? Uh, I'm turning around and looking at the uh, <laughs> the armored man behind me now. Just like, hey, uh, <laughs> just stay right there. As I'm slowly unslinging my rifle from my shoulder, just just stay perfectly still. And I'm gonna fly. He continues to take another step towards you. Okay, he's not being friendly. I'm going to fly 15 feet up. Okay. And, uh, oh shit, oh shit. Two. And 15 feet this way. Gotcha. Alrighty. And then I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to shoot this man in the face. Go for it. <laughs> That's preferable. What if you just kill him? Well, we'll One see. One shot. Hey, that's what this is, I think. Your chance uh -huh. to blow. <laughs> and Agaris, it's with this. You you see uh, Tex shoot up into the air and whip out his gun. And Mark. everybody else from your vantage points, too. You also see uh, this Aarakocra launch into the sky. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I can't really see. Fair enough. <laughs> I cannot just... see. 
slamming the pole up and down on the ground going, fight, 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 fight. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a party over here. Hey, uh, Cassie, how far away are we from Tex? Are we still, like, in that area? Well, uh, let me see. I can tell you you guys are. You guys are a little over 100 feet away from Tex. Can I see the thing that's attacking him at all? I mean, it's a big fellow. Like I said, he's nearly eight feet okay. tall. So you two from your guys's can make out this okay. very large, imposing figure. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. I have eyes on him. So I am going to take my attack action, and I'm going to shoot this man in the face, and I'm going to spend a grit to make it a dead eye shot. Okay. To gain advantage. That okay. Hits. Uh, twenty-four based. That hits. Uh, two D twelve plus five. Uh, twenty-two damage. Got it. And then lightning reload to spend my bonus action to reload my single shot firearm. I need to get one that has a magazine. Um. And would you know it, I'm going to spend another dead eye shot. So I'm just going to do do the thing again. Do what you do best. Which is shoot. And not much else. Uh-oh! Ooh. Here's the funny part. No. Oh, God. Not only uh, would a 19 have been a critical, I also have hemorrhaging critical. Ooh, what does that do? Tell when I score a critical hit with a firearm, the target I just landed a hit on additionally suffers half the damage I roll from the attack at the end of its next turn. Okay. And I get my grit point back because I landed a critical hit. Nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So that'll be 4d12. You wonder. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> I would beat you so hard. <laughs> Promise. Ooh, what nice. happened? Oh. 27 damage? Yes, that's 27 damage, and he will take... He will take 13 damage at the end of his next turn. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I still have an attack action. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to blow my action surges this early. Gotcha. All right. So... Let's see. Moving back up, we've got Manny and a Garish. You guys, everybody across the arena hears the sound of gunfire go off from Tex. Twice. And it, twice. And it strikes the large figure both times in the chest. And the critical hit makes him stagger back a bit. So, yeah, Manny and Agaris, what are you guys doing? So we see Tex and we see the other figure and Tex yep. is firing. I mean, Agaris is just so been, at... <laughs> like they've just. I thought they were just booking it over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm on... going around in a circle and giving everybody. Am I piggybacking on Agaris? I would assume so. Okay. Um. Listen, I think your friend's probably having some hard time, but I have a pretty good idea, and just stay still, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Okay. And I put the staff kind of leaning on his shoulder. It's not going to hurt, and I cast Fireball at the creature. Okay. Um, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I'm a turret. <laughs> yes. I'm a turret. I'm a turret. I'm a turret. I'm a turret. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Oh, it succeeds. Nice. Um, oh, no. 50, 52 damage. Whoops. Not nice. <laughs> Less nice. It Less takes, nice. It does it take half of 52 half. or yeah, half. 52? Half okay. Damage. So it takes only 26. All right. And then, yeah, we'll just keep trucking along. Garrus and Nimble Leaf. Yeah, what are up? you guys? Are you guys still heading towards Bite and Tagoro, or are you going to go to a shrine? Or oh, do I see Tagoro? Yeah, you guys, as you're approaching, you well, I mean, like you see Tagoro holding a stick, and on the top of the stick is a Nikogen. 
<gasps> Not Naomi. Well, no, I was uh, excited to see Tagoro. Ah, uh, gotcha. I have a friend, I have a friend, I have a friend! I thought he was about to you stay think, close You think I have a one-tracked mind? Jesus. It's like <laughs> you. I only that. think of Cultus, <laughs> Naomi, and Candles. I absolutely, Shush. I absolutely thought you were just going to say, close enough. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, how far are we from Tagoro and uh, Bite? You are about 75 feet away from them. Uh, and I'm guessing we notice uh, the thing going on with um, Tex and everything. Yeah, that's even further across the arena. Hey, how high up are we? We'll just go with like 15 feet in the air. Okay, I can accept that. Okay. Uh, do you want to go see Tagoro, Bay, or Tex? Well, Tex is the one currently in trouble, so... Or should actually, do you think we should go to uh, the uh, obelisk? We're right there. We could. I don't know what it'll do though. Besides, maybe <laughs> add a new dead uh, uh, night spawn. Dark spawn. He always said there was two of them. So, uh, I mean, and they look pretty slow. Your friend looks like he can handle himself. <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. Let's go to the obelisk. So you guys are going to this obelisk here. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh... Right? Or was there a different obelisk you're going to? No, that's the right one. So you see... Uh, religion check? You don't have to do a religion check. Uh, you see panels where your hands would go. So all I need you to do is place your hand on it and then make a... Concentration check. Got it. Put my hands in. I can do that. We both do that. So, since you're both working together, you can roll your concentrations with advantage. Hell yeah. Would that, would that be under concentration? Uh, constitution save. Constitution, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, constitution. How does a 27 do I... work for you? That's really good. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even get a chance to roll. Hold on. No, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, go ahead and roll. With the van, she said? Yeah. Yeah. 11. So. Oh, uh, by the way, Nimble Leaf, uh, uh, do you consider me as a friend at this point? I don't think I consider you an enemy. <laughs> so, ally. Sure. Uh, you get a plus five tier saving throw. <laughs> okay, Yo! make that a uh, 30, 32. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> All right. So with that, you guys got a good chunk of the shrine activated. Bite and Tagoro. What are, what are you two doing? Are you still <laughs> having your stick party? Fight, 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 fight. Um, I think Bite is gonna see that Tex has hit the thing mm -hmm. and that it's not down yet and that it's moving towards him and he's like she she's just like she looks down at Tagoro and she points towards the um undead thing and she says we go help go fight yeah sure we're not yeah. Alrighty. So y'all are heading over Wait, can, to back up Tex. Can he, can he eat me at it? <laughs> sure. I don't know if you want. But... Oh, that's all special. <laughs> yes. Can Just I question? Mm -hmm. If he eats me, can I A? Actually, before he eats me, can I rage? Yeah, go okay. for it. Uh, so as Tagoro gets ready to yeet Bite over to the the thing, he just sees her burst into flames. <laughs> so everybody from where you're at, she, you guys see this tiny torch of a Nikogen just ignite at the top of this pole. <laughs> and Tagoro, yeah, now you're holding a, fi a flaming cat. Oh, fuck it off. Really, really quick. <laughs> uh... Becky, can I get a bite, like, voicing, uh, or a bite voice, just, flame on! 
Flame on! <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oh my god. Cassie, make sure to put that in. There we go. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, Tagoro, you yeet her? Yeah, what is that? Strength? Yeah. That's an eight. Uh-oh. Oh, buddy. Tagoro could also rage and just get advantage on that. That is true. Do you want to rage as uh, well, Tagoro? Well, we should find the stats for the yeah. yeet stick. If you like. Yeah, I'm pissed. She's burning my stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll let you go ahead and re-roll that with advantage. Ooh, hands. That's a 16. That's better. So you guys see Bite go arcing across <laughs> the sky. Tex, you see this flaming cat fly <laughs> next, or Nico Jen fly right past you. And she lands right in front of the the big fella. Can I attack it? I will give you one attack. Yeah. Okay. That is a thirty-one and to hit. If you want, I can roll it in chat <laughs> instead. I've just been rolling on D and D Beyond. No, no, no. That's fine. That hits. And Tagoro, are you gonna make your way over that way as well? Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Okay. Uh, and you've got what forty feet of movement? When I'm enraged, uh, yes. Which I am, so I'm running. Like Bobby uh -huh. Boucher. Boots of haste, question mark? Oh yeah, you have boots of haste. Well, you already did your bonus. Your bonus action was raging. Oh. And boots of haste take another bonus action. So. Yeah, I really need to look at all my inventory shit. So, Becky, go ahead and make your attack. 26 damage. Oh yeah. Um, Noise. And if... Okay, so I have an ability where mm -hmm. creatures that enter the area of a five foot radius around me have to make a dexterity saving throw. Does it count okay. if I go in to them? I mean, he's in your area of yeah. effect, I would imagine. Okay, so he needs to make he's a in your personal bubble. Dex save that is eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. Yeah. 17. Oh, yeah, wait. Ooh, I also have to add 9 to the damage. No, just kidding. Add 3 to the damage, so it's 29. Okay. And he's going to make a dex yes. save? That's, that's a failure. Okay. So that's another... Another 12 damage! As he catches right. on fire, because... Five feet around me in all directions is also on fire. <laughs> so what happens is, is you see him uh, ignite and he starts to burn and turn to ash and crumple before you. And you hear a chime go off a couple of times. There's the die show, ah. yeah. And there's just like a, a charred spot left where he was once standing. Yeah! Wow, that was easy. So now I just need a roll. Uh oh. <laughs> I might have spoke too soon. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So Tex and Bite, you guys are <laughs> closest to this first shrine, and there don't seem to be any enemies in sight. Hey, Bite. Hi. That was fun. It, it looked it. Good job. <laughs> So, what are you two doing? Well, what now? Uh, I want to look at the big, uh, big rock. I want to look at it. So, you're coming back to the yeah. obelisk? I'm going to drop back down to the ground. Okay. And then, Tagoro, uh, are you still making your way to catch up to them? Si, senorita. Okay. As you get over here, you... Come up and meet Agaris and hey. me, who are just come, uh, arrive here as well blum, as Spike blum, and blum, Tex blum. Are, <laughs> yeah, are are checking out this obelisk. Uh, uh, hi, hey, Garis, you're here. Oh. Yeah, we, came, we came as quick as we Next, could. Hey, bite points at the, the way. bite points <laughs> at the pile of ash and just goes bite. Do that. She did. I watched it. What the? You did? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Good job, Bite. 
Yeah. Oh, good lord. Uh, <laughs> Agaris, who has... Are you getting he, queasy? He, he ran all the way over here. Oh, he's, he's got his uh, his hands on his knees, just like scooped over. Just, uh. yeah. I'm baby cradling Manny. <laughs> yeah. There's an affectionate bro reunite going on Bruh. over here. And then he puts him in his papoose. Oh. <laughs> Manny, it's dangerous. You know that. All right, all right. I'm fine. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I threw a little girl. <laughs> yari, yari, Dazzy. I saw that. Hey, uh, Is everybody okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, aside from the fact that we're not where we're supposed to be, I'm guessing. Yeah. The... It's. This is kind of weird. My name's Manny, by the hey, way. Hey, I'm Tex. Uh, Big Green over there is Tagoro, right? Bite already introduced me. Yeah, um, we also have a few others. They're quite far away, but... Well... And Bite! They're teammates, so. We got us together, uh... Uh, so we can at least roll together now, and we don't have to get... worry about getting ambushed by ourselves. Like me. <laughs> yeah, very true. Very good shooting out there, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Nice gun. Thank you. I also like your hat. Um, uh, so, what about you. this obelisk? Uh, I don't know. I was I was going to look at it. Uh, I I ain't seen nothing like this before, I don't think. Right. So, uh, investigating... Yeah, I was going to say. So, investigating it, you guys see three hand plates at the base of it. Oh, uh, well, those certainly look hand shaped. Touch? Uh, maybe, well, we maybe don't not touch, touch yet. Yeah. <laughs> but let's, let's slow it down there for a minute. Uh, um... Hey, Agaris, you're good with like all the weird uh, hand wavy magic shit, right? I'm not bad with it. Hey, do uh, you think you could take a look at this just in case it like turns us into frogs or something? Uh, Meanwhile, Garrison and Nimbleleaf are like killing yeah, ourselves okay. essentially. Yeet! <laughs> Let's checking for traps. Nah, yeet! Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, you too, right. Manny. I, I'm guessing you you look. No offense, but you don't look like a guy who you know, punches shit in the face. No, I don't. Um, I'm gonna detect magic. As he says, I just come up behind Manny to give him the look like, I'll punch him for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fucking magical. Uh, this one, though, like the like this obelisk radiates with uh, dark spawn energy. All right. Uh oh. Very similar to alt retina. Uh, bom, bom, bom. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Agaris is going to uh, take a moment to compose himself. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to take a deep breath and let it out. Take a deep breath, let it out, uh, <laughs> get some focus. Uh, going to go ahead and cast uh, uh, guidance on himself. Okay. By doing so. Okay. And uh, I am going to try and make, what do you think, an arcana or religion check? Which would be better? What is it to try to discern what this obelisk yeah, is? Yeah, what the nature of it is and like how exactly it's supposed to operate. Would that be Arcana? Uh, Arcana, yeah. 1D plus is plus 1D4. Bah. Could I assist him? Could I assist him? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. I should have him roll with advantage. 60. That's better. Hey. So... According to that dude in the sky, this appears magic-wise to be one of those shrines he was referring to. It looks like it requires the channeling of at least three people. Once it does, it looks like it sends a burst of arcana 
to two points to the north and south of this arena. What? Well, it it must connect to the portals somehow. Because it was he was saying that if we disarm these, then we can get out of here. Okay, but like, how do we do that? Because if you're telling me well, I, I, I got to put yeah. my hands on there, I ain't going to do it. I'm just going to be up Yeah, front. so it yeah. looks like Agaris and Manny, it looks like it requires at least three people to put their hands on it. And by concentrating or channeling their own aura or life force into it, it will help activate the the teleportation circles. Uh Manny looks around. So, uh, who has good constitution? <laughs> what constitution? Like how hardy you are? How tough are you? Well, I've seen bite. Bite you strong. She's still yeah, on are. fire. The oh. fire is slowly going out. It's like going out to like the tips of her ears, just like her ears and her hair and her tail are on fire. And she does not seem any worse for wear. <laughs> well. Rizel once said that I should tell people that I'm so strong, you can drain my main vein and I'll keep going. Uh, out of God. character, Bite has a plus nine constitution save. G Jesus. Uh, hey, me too. Hey. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Which, which three of you are going to work on this, this shrine? Uh, well, just to put it bluntly, um, and I know Agaris can back me up. We're gonna have to put our hands on this thing. Oh, Fight immediately Such puts her hands on it. Oh, bite! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. I will absolutely do it. Oh, shit, no fair. It looks fun. I do it too. <laughs> All right, if you do it, I'll do it too. And I. All right, so on. I need Manny, Bite, and Tagoro to make con our uh, Constitution checks with advantage. Yes, with advantage since you're all working together. How many how many hands how many hands do um uh are on our obelisk? Yours has three as well. Oh. Uh, it probably just yeah. means that twenty five. Yeah, it probably just means that it'll be we'll we'll need one more round for us to light ours up. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So twenty five and what was I got right? a sixteen. 16. I got a 19. 19. I'm going to go stand next to Agaris. He's my buddy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tex. <laughs> hey, uh, did you get attacked yet? No. Yeah. I, I did. I'm sorry. I ran all the way over here, but I wasn't able to get here in time. No, that's okay. I didn't expect uh, Bite to learn how to fly. Are you alright, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I didn't get hit, I don't think. At the very least. So your guys' jumps to over halfway finish. So now the question is, is do the three of you stay and the other two go? Or are you going to spend this round, all of you staying here together? So and if you look at... So this up or... Yeah. So if you're looking okay. at it, I'm putting the percentage of how no. far complete you right, got. Right, right, right. Oh, I see. I think we should all stay together. Yeah. Yeah. So for you sure. guys are staying. Uh, Nimble Leaf and Garrus, I'm going to have you guys make another constitution save or a constitution check. Alrighty. Still at advantage? Yes. And I still get my plus five? Yeah, you still get your plus five. It's permanent. Yeah, man. I love having a plus 14. Yeah, that's a 29. <laughs> nice. Garrus? Uno momento. Ooh, that's better. 25. All right. And with that, your guys's suddenly shudders and a bright white light explodes out from the top. And the obelisk changes from a black obsidian to a white luminescent pearl. Mm. Cut as yours first. Is and... Uh, with that, you also hear a gong chime as a mist seems to kind of spread across the field a little bit. So your guys' view uh, across the arena, it's now going to be slightly obscured. Hmm. Way to go, Dempo Leifa. 
We should think of a team name uh, between us. We did that really well. I agree. I, I've got so one. So where to I've, next? I've got a team mate, team name. Um, <laughs> you ready for this? The Ramp Scallions. There you go. No <laughs> oh, oh, title. Sounds like an that's gonna Olive be the garden, uh, name of it. An Olive Garden dish. <laughs> an Olive Garden ramp dish. scallions and fettuccine. Now, is it our so, is it our whole turn to activate the uh, this obelisk? No, you or? guys, you have it. Since you guys did so well with that, you have uh, the chance to do some movement. So I will hop back up on guys... Agaris. Yep. And... Uh. Uh, my name's to... Garrus. Oh, dang it. I'll hop back up on Garrus. <laughs> drop the A. Um, <laughs> do you want to go uh, to... Do you think we... oh, go ahead. Do you, do you want to go meet up with the others so we can help them out? I. They seem to be doing okay, I think. Right? It's hard for oh. me to see. I think we should just go try and start another one. Hell yeah, let's go. Team Nimble Garrus. <laughs> Away! <laughs> I think. So which way are you going? Better. Um, yeah, right. Uh, should we go to the middle? Uh, yeah, whatever's closer. Yeah, middle would probably be closest, I think. Yeah, mm, it's, yeah. it's closest by, by far. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so you guys won't be able to do a check this round. You'll sure. get to start that the next round. Sure. Uh, but yeah, you arrive to the next one, and we're back to uh, the the foursome. I need. It's a fivesome. Fivesome? Oh yeah, five some. I can't <laughs> count. Too sexy. So, I need a garrison text to make perception checks, and then I need to Goro, Bite, and Manny to make concentration checks. Or uh, yeah, constitution checks. With advantage. With advantage, since you three are all still working. Together. I got a twenty-two. I got a twenty for perception. Eighteen for Manny. And Tagoro? 19. 19. All right. So just with the other tower, this tower bursts uh, a bright white light into the sky, and it changes from obsidian to a pearl tower as your guys's is completed. It. Wow. Tex and, okay, uh, Agaris, what, uh, a perception check for you, please? Uh, I rolled a 20 for my perception. Roll it. You roll a twenty, and what about a Garrus? Uh, one moment. Seven. Oof. Seven. Okay. So, Tex, yeah. as everybody is like the the tower goes off, everyone's you know like yeah we did it teamwork high fives and stuff. You hear a raspy sounding voice coming. A ways away, and you see uh -oh. uh, appearing suddenly nearby is this emerge. Hey. That's oh, oh shit, not good. It. I don't know what that That's is. I hate it. I I do. That's not good. Thanks for joining us for the Arius Adventures here on Party Advantage. Come join our community over on our Discord channel and hang out with the cast and fellow fans of the show by following the link in the episode description. You can also find us on our very own website, www.partyadvantagepod.com, where you can find updates for special announcements and events. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter using at Party Advantage for fun posts and episode updates. Lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you stay current with all of our episodes on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Come back in two weeks for more Aries adventures as the Ram Pack continues their journey. Will the party find the advantage on their next encounter? Only one way to find out. See you then.